Drones have a bit of a negative connotation, but with putting the word conservation before drones, people immediately see that it has a very different purpose. I'm Serge Schwig, I'm a professor at Liverpool John Moores University. My name is Lian Pinko, I'm uh, an ecologist. Together um, we are the co-founders of conservationdrones.org. Lian Pin and I have traveled the world quite a bit with drone systems. We've been to Indonesia, where we are now. We think that um, conservation drones has the potential to be a real game changer because it's so cost effective. I've been doing orangutan survey work for about the past 20 years. When Leon Pin and I uh, met up the first time, we discussed if there was a, would be a better way to collect data on where these nests are. This part is a little bit higher, so we have to be a bit careful there. Okay, we, we just built a, a simple mission. The route that you want to fly is programmed. You program it by simply clicking waypoints on a, on a, on a map. What's the maximum it could fly? About 40 kilometers, probably. Wow. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, but we we want to want to be on the safe side. It's really a great opportunity to use a new technique to help with old problems. Conservation is really difficult. Maybe cannot. But let's think. About, let's think first. The main objective is the that we do the orangutan nests. It's safer to follow the coordinates. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's because we want to be sure that we have it. Basically the researcher just has to throw the plane in the air and off it will go, um, flying about uh, its mission. Do you ever put it up and then uh, go have a beer and then... Yeah, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> the plane has a small autopilot in it, and then it can fly that route. Yeah, it's flying away from us again. And we have a still camera in the plane that can take a photo every two seconds. And then those photos can be stitched together to make a mosaic of the whole area. But this looks quite good. Yeah, it looks good. Can you zoom in? It works, we can detect these nests, so these systems can help to find out where orangutans are. And that's something that's very useful for lots of conservation workers because they would like to see what the changes are in, in land use for instance. The goal is to try to see how this technology can be used to help people with their conservation projects. One of the things we would like this technology to, to go to is to systems that have a longer range so they can fly farther away so we can explore certain areas that haven't been explored yet.